What's going on guys? Welcome back to Ravi and today I'm going to be getting some head work done on my engine. First up you go in a spiral pattern to break these bolts loose. And then I just run them out with an impact. Make sure you know the order of these cam caps when they come off because that's very important. There's a couple things I'm doing to this head. One, I'm replacing the valve stem seals. I'm also lapping the valves and checking for any bent valves. Also, as a side note, you really should mark which lifter goes to which hole, but I didn't do that. It's not that important, but they can wear down unevenly because of the cam lobes. All right, now I've got all the cam caps and cams off. All I need to do is take off these hydraulic lifters, and I don't have a valve spring compressor tool, so I'm gonna go to my tech school and take out these valve springs. In here I have all the valve send seals just to refresh them because the stock ones are not, not good. Well, they're good, but after 130,000 miles, probably not the best. Also, as you can see, there's still some gunk on the surface of this, as well as there's a little nick right there that I need to kind of sand down. I'm gonna take a straight edge with some sandpaper and sand the entire thing, take out these uh, um, guides right there, and just take a straight block, sandpaper, and sand. Basically do a, a hand deck job on this as well. This is aluminum, so I'm gonna go for 180 grit, and then I heard 80 grit works well with the cast iron. So I'm gonna do that at my tech school as well. When you take out your valves, make sure you order them properly so you know where to put them back in. And you also know which cylinders had bent valves, if they are bent, or have carbon buildup, or just you know which ones to lap to which, uh, which hole. out on this side just need to do these that's where these are all the way here and I just stored them in there it's day number two of working on my head and block at the tech school I kind of hooked up these dowels real bad but I got another head and uh, I got another block for these dowels as well and take them out of the other block put them in this got all my I believe this is yeah my intake side all those are out and now I got to take the exhaust side out so all we're doing is compressing these little valves, there's the keepers in there. We take the keepers out, and then there's these shims. Take the shims out, and then we're done. I've gotta sand the bottom of these and sand the top of that, and then should be good to go to put everything back together. There. There we go. Let me take the screwdriver so that compress the valve. And then there's that keeper right there. All right. Now that I've got where I'm trying to go, which is these little valve stem seals right here, I've got over there some bags of them. They're like 11 bucks for all, all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 16, all 16 of them. And we're gonna take them out with a pair of pliers and put the new ones in. Just take your needle nose. Stick them in there, and then got my board sanded with 80 grit. Just gonna run down this whole thing, even strokes. One more finishing pass with one. And we're done. Fresh 180, not really fresh to that anyway. Got the head right here. Just gonna hop off. <laughs> now there's still a little bit of pitting right there, but that's where the end of the gasket is, as well as right there. That's still inside of where the gasket kind of doesn't cover. So I think that'll be fine. Everything is pretty smooth, as you can see right there. Smooth as butter. And over here, is also smooth as butter. Besides this, this is where the gasket covers as well. So I got some of the nicks out, kind of resurfaced it, and the 
gasket will go on there just fine, I think. My lovely assistant Randy over here is sanding down these valves so we can stick this little lapping tool onto it and spin it inside of the valve area right here. This will lap the valves and seat them properly. I'm just gonna do that for every one of these. Clean off the carbon in here with a scotch brite. So basically all I'm doing is putting this valve grinding compound on the surface of the valve here and that's like gritty sand and you put it in the valve seat. You take your lapping tool, suction it onto there, it'll go and you spin it and that will grind your valve seat in and allow them to sit. See, that's spinning. And then I have a complete one here. This, you can see right there, it's a little bit grayer right there. That is where it sits and grinds right along here. And those meet together and create a good ceiling. Every single one of these are lap. So I did mismatch all of these. They're supposed to be in order, but it doesn't really matter. I've, I've asked some people and they, they're running a couple thousand miles on built engines and with mismatched ones of these. So it doesn't really matter, but uh, these all press down. So with for very minimal effort, so I don't need to clean them. Uh, There's probably gonna be valve tick, but not that bad because they're all free forming or free, free moving. But now it's time to put everything back together and I'm stressed. So I've got some oil here. I'm just gonna oil every one of these valves and stick them in. And I can flip it over and put the valve springs in and the keepers. So what I'm doing to lube these valve stem seals is taking a valve right here, putting assembly lube on them and shoving them down there. And that lubes up the hole. On one side of these springs, it looks a little more compressed than the other. That side goes down. see right in there, I've got one of them in there that's around the valve. And then I just need the other one over there. I put grease in them so they stick. And I'm gonna spin that around and put the last one in there. You can see I, how I did it there. There's one and two. And you just decompress them when you have them in there. And then they're stuck. So I got my head done, uh, the valve springs are in and the keepers are all in. My teacher at Tech stayed like half an hour extra after school just to help me get this done for the holidays. So all I need to do is put these buckets in and then put the cam caps on. I'm taking some assembly lube and lubing up where the camshaft uh, touches on all these buckets and the journals. Some of you eagle-eyed viewers may notice I had two missing dowels on my head. Don't worry, I replaced those. They got crushed by the valve spring compressor tool, but I just took some off my other head and put them on.
I've got the cams in, the can caps, all tightened down. I do need to torque them. I'm gonna do that tomorrow because I can't be bothered to tonight. I'm gonna end the video now. It's gone for long enough, and uh, I want to thank everyone for following this engine build. Uh, I'm gonna continue to do it. I'm on the home stretch. I just gotta put everything back together. That'll be another video, and I plan on making a whole video of just everything together. None, no, no commentary, just probably a couple of hours long maybe. But anyway, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.